Hi, welcome to Show Me Leads Marketo Foundation Training Series. This lecture will cover the list import process in the lead database section of your Marketo. As we covered in another lecture, the lists which you import are considered to be static lists. When you import a list, leads are matched on the email address field. If it already exists, the other fields will overwrite existing data on condition that the field updates are not blocked from list imports. If a lead does not exist, a new lead is created. Depending on what the list is going to be used for, you can import the list into either a program in Marketing Activities or a folder in the lead database. If the list contains members which have visited your booth at an event, most likely you will add that list to the corresponding program in Marketing Activities to manage that data. If the list will be used globally, such as a list of competitors or customers, more likely you will import it into the lead database. You will want to organize your folder structure carefully and follow a good naming convention to understand the purpose of that list. To begin the list import process, you want to save your list as a .csv file. Remember to clean up as much as you can before you import the list into Marketo. It is a best practice and critical to your reporting to always use clean data and the formatting across all the values to make your life a lot easier. For this demonstration, I will create an import members to a list within the lead database. I will take you through a three-step process, which is selecting the file, the import preview, and import options. So, I have a folder marked as global lists, to which I will add a new list to. And first, make sure you're in the lead database section So I click on the folder and select New List. Make sure you have your list selected. And then either right click on your list or navigate to New Import List, which will prompt the pop up for the List Import Wizard. In step one, you must select the file. Browse through your computer to find the appropriate file. Then you can select the format of your file from CSV, Tab Delimited semicolon separated values, or you can also leave it as is and Marketo will auto detect the correct format. For trusted source, you can select trusted or untrusted. Trusted is usually used for lists created or put together by internal members of your team, whereas untrusted is usually used for lists acquired from third parties. You can alter the settings for untrusted lists in the admin section of Marketo. For the list import mode, you can select default, fast import, or skip new leads and updates. Now, in step two, we have the import preview. In the list column, you see all your column headers from the file which you are trying to import. The Marketo field is the field to which these values will be mapped to. The import preview shows you one sample value per field and any notes that may be useful to you. If there's a blocked field update, the notes section is where you will be able to see that information. Step three, import options. If you are importing to a list that has been created, the name is pre-populated. If you selected import list before you created a list, you can give it the name you wish to show up in Marketo here. It also allows you to select the revenue stage which is used to manage the lead lifecycle, as well as the acquisition program to give it members for reporting purposes. If you do not wish to do so, you can leave those options blank. Once you select import, the list import begins. You will see in the upper right corner of your Marketo interface when the process has completed. Thank you.